What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a big one. So if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like, like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Then if you like this 900 Global Standard Collection Jersey by Coolwick, you can go to coolwick.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10, and that'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order a gem, a reality, or a proton physics. If you like what you're seeing in this video or based on my recommendation, it's a direct way to help support the channel. And then there's also gonna be a link down below to my Discord, which is completely free, and my Patreon. Okay, all that out of the way. One thing I always talk about is using the right tool for the right job, using the right bowling ball on the right pattern. These are the three strongest balls that the SPI umbrella offers. The Gem by Rotogrip, the Reality by 900 Global, and the Proton Physics by Storm. These are all asymmetrical solid bowling balls with very low RGs, high differentials, strong cover bowling balls. And when I review these balls, it's tough to make them look good on a house shot because for my game, they're just too strong and there's not enough oil. The patterns are too short to make these look really good. So today, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is, okay? I'm bowling on the 2021 PBA Dragon Oil Pattern. It is 45 feet, which is significantly longer than the house shot. It's like a two and a half to one ratio, so it's way flatter than the house shot. And it's 26 mils of oil, which is again, higher than the house shot here at Samstown. So you're gonna see super straighter angles and not that big giant hook that you guys see me when I review these balls. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description to each of these balls original ball review so that you guys can see what they look like on the house shot and how different it is on this tough pattern. I've actually never bowled on the dragon pattern. This will be the first time. So expect slower ball speeds, straighter angles, and then that's what's gonna make these balls look really, really good on these longer, heavier volume patterns when compared to the house shot. So let me know down below in the comments what balls you would bring 45 foot PBA Dragon Oil pattern. Um, I've, like I said, I've never bowled on this and I'm gonna throw them in order of strength level. So I think the strength level would be like this. It would be the Gem, Proton, then the Reality. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know, we'll get back. I'll see you guys on the lanes. All right, first shot here on Dragon with the Gem. Wish me luck here. Oh, all right, so that went way longer than I've ever seen this gem go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, oh man, this, this is fun here. Yeah, I, I've said this a couple times already, but this this is fun here. Oh, the right tool for the right job. That's it. Oh, Miss Right, that has zero chance. So now we know. Okay, so those were my first five shots, literally ever on Dragon and. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed using a ball this strong from that straight. And then if you guys don't think I'm bowling on Dragon, relook at that fifth shot where I missed, I missed like one or two right and it had zero chance. I need to have fun like that. So now we're gonna get into the proton physics from the same spot I was just at with the gem. And it'll be interesting, interesting to see how the transition develops. How far left am I gonna have to get and how like tight am I gonna have to keep that line? So I'll see you guys on the lanes. All right, first shot here with the proton physics. Four pin, a little slow. All right, I'm gonna move like one board left because it went kind of high. Good shot. Keep executing good shots here. Hook a little. All right, last shot on the Proton before I get into the reality.
a little slow, but sat there. So I'm experiencing transition, even by myself, way faster than I anticipated. And what I didn't take into consideration, and I'm gonna share that with you guys, is that this pattern being 45 feet with 26 mils means that there's less oil per area or whatever you wanna call it. Like if the pattern was 40 feet, like a regular house shop, for example, and it was 26 mils, there'd be, it seemed like there's more oil where there is oil, if that makes sense. I don't even know how to explain what I'm thinking. But because it's stretched out thin, I'm gonna experience transition a little bit faster, which is gonna be a good thing because it'll allow me to get a little bit left and shape the balls a little bit more. So now we're gonna get into the reality, which is the one, it's the weakest one of the three and the one that produces the most shape. And it's the one that I've had the most success with, success with in the past. So let's get on the lanes with the reality. All right, first shot now in the reality. Oh yeah, that one shapes the most. Good shot. Good, good shot. Yeah. More shots like that, guys, and we'll be in business. Like that. Come on. Oh, miss right. Definitely can't miss right. All right, last shot on the reality before I get back into the gem. Just gonna parallel everything in a little and see here. All right, so this pattern is fun, but man, it is hard. I mean, that super washout that I left, I think I missed one, maybe two boards and the ball had zero, zero chance. And we're talking some of the strongest bowling balls under the SPI umbrella. So now I'm gonna get back into the gem and continue to chase it in a little bit. Again, not a whole lot because, because we're not on a house shot. And the goal is to see if as I move in, if any of these balls is gonna allow me to create a little bit of angle where I couldn't otherwise. All right, first shot back in the gem, and this is gonna end up being about a full zone left of where I started in the gem. This gem specifically, it just checks all the boxes. Ooh. I hate admitting that the gem is my favorite ASIM solid I have because it's the new one. It sounds so cliche, but it's true. Missed right by a bunch. Give me that. So that was the first time this whole video that I missed right and it got even close to the pocket. All right, last shot here in the gym on Dragon before I get back into the Proton. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I got a five bagger in the gym. Let's just keep going until I miss. Push. Six in a row with the gym. All right, six in a row. Let's keep making good shots. Let's make it seven here. Maybe. Seven in a row with the gym. All right, seven in a row looking for eight. This gem, man. Oh, that's gonna be over. Yep, seven in a row. So it ended up being seven in a row and I, I ended the streak on a bad shot. I missed like two or three left. The ball had no chance. But when I talk about boxes being checked mark, the gem just checks, I mean, uh, all of them. And like I said before, one of those shots, I hate saying that it's my favorite ASIM solid because it's the new one, that typical cliche, whatever. But I just, it's good. <laughs> it's good. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about using the right tool for the right job. And these three balls are definitely the right tool for the pattern that I am bowling on. So now I'm going to get into the proton physics and then continue to inch left. I mean, I'm not moving a whole lot left. 
half a board, maybe even quarter board, whatever you want to call it, just a little bit at a time. And I'm having a really good time on doing this because bowling on a house shot always gets kind of monotonous. You guys don't like it. So from time to time, I'm going to change it up. So let's get back in the Proton. All right, so now I'm back in the Proton physics from the same spot I left off at with the gem. Gotta get the nine. Gonna move like one left here. See if I can kick out that nine pin. All right, that was a good shot. Now let's post one. All right, so my goal the rest of the video is just to post every single shot here. So let's go. Oh, all right, last shot of the video with the Proton before I get back into the reality. Miss right. Ooh, got some friction now. So that last shot especially tells me that the lanes are developed enough, broken down enough where I can miss a little bit right and the ball will recover. Whereas earlier on in the video, if I missed even one board, even two boards right with even the strongest of these balls, it was washout city guaranteed two for a 10 territory. So again, right tool for the right job. These balls all have all looked really good on this pattern from a little bit straighter and then as the pattern has broken down some, they're continuing to look good because they're wanting to get into a roll very, very soon. I wish, hindsight is 2020. I wish I would have brought something like an altered reality, something like the RST X2, something like the UFO alert, some of the shinier asymmetrical balls to see how they would have fared on this pattern. Um, but like I said, hindsight is 2020. I only brought the solids. All right, last five shots here. They're all going to be in this reality. Yeah, reality in this breakdown looks really, really good. Yeah, this looks freaky good in this transition. So I just jinxed myself. I just noticed I have a seven bagger going back to the Proton. So let's see, see if I can keep this going here. All right, last shot here of the video with the reality. Oh, we're gonna keep going. So it's five in a row with the reality, four, plus four with the proton is nine. Let's see how far we can keep this going. Oh. Nine and done. All right, so that was a pretty good streak, all things considered. Have you guys ever heard of that game called start one, bench one, cut one? They do that like with the NBA players where they'll give you like three players, you have to start one, bench one, cut one. If I was doing that with this, I would start the gym, bench the reality, oh, and cut the proton. I don't know why I put myself in these kind of scenarios, because I can bring all three if I wanted to. And I hope that you guys learned something in this video. And what I learned is, is what I've been preaching for so long in so many videos, the right tool for the right job. And all of a sudden, these balls look really, really good because on the house shot, they tend to like kind of roll a little bit too soon, bail a little bit down lane. All of a sudden you put them on this 45 foot pattern and they look phenomenal. So the right tool for the right job. I know a lot of people said when I compared the gem to the idle Helios, that the Helios was a way better ball. It looked amazing and all this until you put it in the right situation, period. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. I pre you guys know I appreciate you guys so bleeping much because I'm trying to do this full time and I can't do it without you guys. Like the video, subscribe, use the, the links down below in the description. You guys freaking rock.
We're on the road to 10,000. Help me get there. Click right here to watch one of my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.